up guys, Skidder Rampage here, so tonight we do a Funko News Updates. It does look like the Jiraiya on Toad restock is finally happening at Hot Topic, as well guys as we do have Overhaul finally shipping out from Chalice. We also do have updates on Illumi being delayed from Toy Stop and Funko, as well guys as we do have a brand new Glow Kakashi that may be a GameStop exclusive, and a few other things, so let's check it out. Hey guys, welcome back to another Funko Pop video. Today we do have Funko news updates, and we do have some really good stuff that I did want to go over. A couple things that we kind of shared on Instagram a couple days ago, but I haven't had a chance to talk about them in a video. So here we are with our news updates. So if you guys are enjoying the news updates so far, please smash that like button down below. It lets me know that you guys are enjoying the news video. So we do have a lot to go over, a couple, some anime news, as well as some like new pops, some first looks, restocks, and um, some delays and orders finally shipping out. So a lot to go over. Um, I guess we'll just go over the restocks first, uh, which should be interesting. So Hot Topic did actually restock these few exclusives over the past week. Uh, we had Buckbeak, Scooby-Doo, as well as Summer Stitch, the Scented One, Diamond Collection, Ariel, as well as the Pumpkin Jack there. Um, and then I also I see Polar Bear. So they are actively restocking these and they're going in and out of stock on Hot Topics website. So you're welcome to check the website every now and then and maybe you might come across one of these, which would be pretty cool. Now, another uh, restock over at Hot Topic that was very shocking and was up for roughly 30 seconds was the Jiraiya on Toad Hot Topic exclusive. This is roughly a $120 pop. Now surprisingly enough guys, a lot of people were actually able to get this Jiraiya on Toad as well as even two in most situations which was very interesting. So even some of my Patreon members I think got them which was really nice. Let me know down below were you guys able to actually pick up this Jiraiya on Toad. Now um, this one is expected to ship March 11th, I believe, the first or second week of March coming soon here. As well, guys, as we should also see all of those pre-orders that were pre-ordered a long time ago on the last restock start to come in next month, which is going to be awesome. This also means that we could see restocks in stores fairly soon within the next month for sure. This is typically what happens. Mount Lady restocked online, and then we started slowly seeing her hit stores again. So we should see Jiraiya on Toad hit stores again. Stores are probably going to get anywhere from 5 to 10 each. I would just say follow your local Hot Topics. This is exciting, though, for Jiraiya fans, because a lot of people have been wanting a restock on this one. You guys have been asking me for half a year. Here it finally is. We should see in-store restocks fairly soon. Let me know down below if you're excited. Let me know if you were able to get a Jiraiya the other night. And uh, what are your thoughts overall on this? Do you think it should be restocked? Do you think it shouldn't be? restock let me know your thoughts i think it's cool though personally because it's really nice because it's a pretty expensive pop very very sought after as well so Hopefully you guys are able to get one in the future, so good luck. One more restock we did have, the Winged Dragon of Raw GameStop exclusive did restock. All the orders recently have been shipped out, I believe, so uh, they kind of put up maybe remaining stock they might have had or cancellations or things like that. It might be sold out again at the time posting this video, but it did actually restock and it could restock again. So if you guys do want this one, uh, just check out GameStop's website because it's actually a really cool pop. And I got mine in the other day, so we'll definitely be reviewing that fairly soon. Now also speaking of Hot Topic exclusives in general, it it does look like the Stitch Drinking Boba Tea is actually a Hot Topic exclusive and actively hitting stores. So thank you Distractors for sharing that. This is actually a really cool exclusive. Has not hit Florida just yet. I'm assuming most of the West Coast is getting this and it's actively getting over to the East Coast. I don't know why Funko never announced this one. Super weird, but it's just randomly hitting stores and just randomly popped up. So pretty cool exclusive. A lot of people are excited. So make sure to check your local Hot Topics fairly soon within the next week or two because you could get yourself one. Now this exclusive sold out really fast. I want to say within five minutes or less. And this actually did turn out to be a Gemini Collectibles exclusive. They did say that they will be restocking this one multiple times. We did see it going around for the special edition sticker for a while now. So it is actually interesting to see it as Gemini Collectibles because they haven't had an exclusive in. I want to say like two years. Literally, I haven't heard anybody say anything about Gemini Collectibles in a good while. So maybe they are making their comeback here. I have no idea. But either way, this is a Gemini Collectibles exclusive, and they're going to restock this one if you did want it. Now, here we do have a Zobby here, and I believe this is a sub-company of Pop in a Box, if I'm not mistaken, is what a lot of people were saying. Um, they actually did tease their brand new Pokemon exclusive. Surprise, surprise, it's a Pikachu. A lot of people want it to be Ditto Pikachu. I think that would be kind of funny with the derpy eyes. That would be really funny, actually. But based off the mold there, I can only assume. Let me, I, I want to see because it, it's a bigger size there. And I can only assume it's a 10-inch Pikachu. And I want to see. I want to see really quick. We have a 10-inch Pikachu. We have multiple 10-inch Pikachus. Uh, we also have the 18-inch where he's kind of like this. 
Now the other ones, um, okay, where's the other, oh my god, there's so many Pikachu items for Funko, good lord. Okay, where is the 10 inch Pikachu? All of them are with his hands down. Now this one is actually him waving. So this could very well be a 10 inch waving Pikachu. Based off the pose, it looks like him waving. It may, it also may be like, well they also, they've done flocked for this. They've done diamond, they've done, I don't think they've done flocked. That's not him waving. It could be like a flocked variant or something like that, guys, basically. It's just going to be the same waving Pikachu turned into some kind of exclusive. It does kind of look 10 inch based off the little outline and silhouette that they do share. Might not be, no idea. Either way, it's going to be the waving hello, you know, Pikachu for sure. So I'm kind of curious what it's going to be. If it's Ditto, I'll be super surprised. If it's not Pikachu, I'll be really weirded out because that looks exactly like Pikachu. Either way, let me know your thoughts, guys. Are you disappointed? Because there were rumors of, like, Zapdos, and I was like, that would have been awesome if we got Zapdos. Where's Zapdos? I don't want Pikachu anymore. I want Zapdos. He's awesome. <laughs> For any Nightmare Before Christmas fans, we do have a look at the two-pack here of Sally and Jack, and it does look like they're making more Pocket Pop keychains, um, actually, Blacklight, which is very interesting here. So this is a two-pack. I think this is the first ever two-pack Blacklight Pop, so this is kind of interesting. But they actually do look pretty good. Like, Jack Jack looks good with the yellow skull and then Sally's face being blue and their hair being pink. I think they did really well on these and uh, kind of excited to see like in-person looks. Either way, they look really nice and let me know down below if you're going to pick these ones up or pass on them. Let's go ahead and take a look at the 10 inch Mew here from Pokemon. This is a Target exclusive and not a Target Con exclusive, but it was actively releasing in stores today. Some stores were getting like anywhere from one to three, not very many. There was maybe one at one of the um, Targets near here and uh, Cap's dad actually was able to find that so he, he was able to get himself a Mew which was really nice but they are still actively hitting stores throughout the course of the week and uh, it's a pretty cool one to be honest I don't think Mew needed to be 10 inch personally but it is actually pretty cool now speaking of Target we do have a couple Target Con exclusives that I did want to kind of like give you first looks at or better looks we do have the Black Luster Soldier here and he looks sick now, he actually did not release in stores today, unfortunately. He does look to be delayed. Um, I, I might have mentioned this in the video or not, but uh, someone um, who has a friend that works at Target, they said that, um, uh, that this one was delayed and probably not coming today, even though Funko announced it as coming today. It did sell out online today, which I was very surprised about. I was not expecting that, but it did. And it's a pop super, guys. It's a six inch pop, and this thing looks amazing. Look at that pop. I wish I was able to get it. I passed online because I was like, well, I'm going to the store anyway, so I'll be able to just pick it up. Got to the store, they did not have any and it sold out, and I was like, I am bummed, emotional damage. And even if I don't collect Yu-Gi-Oh! Heavy, that's a really cool one, and I would have liked it next to some of the other Yu-Gi-Oh! Pops I have. A few other exclusives that we did not see in stores today that were delayed, and this these should actually come out next month in about a week, guys, just so you guys know. Uh, but Lucario here, the 10-inch, as well as Beauty and the Beast Bell. Now, that tea bundle actually did come out in some stores. I don't know about all stores, but my store got it over here in the East Coast. I'm pretty sure I saw it in the West Coast already. So I would say most stores got it, maybe not all of them. If you're looking for that one, stay tuned, or it might still be available online as well. But either way, that 10 inch Lucario looks sick, as well as Belle. I wanted that one for Bailey, but it was delayed, so I wasn't able to pick it up today for her. Either way, though, I feel like Target Con could have been a little better, but they did have some really good exclusive. Black Luster Soldier was definitely the best for anime, in my opinion, um, even if you're not a Yu-Gi-Oh fan. Ten Inch Lucario was really nice as well, and then you had the Red Chrome Boba, and then you had the Black Light T bundle, so it was... I, I would give it a 6 out of 10 for Target Con because they definitely could have done some better stuff. But overall, I feel like there was a good amount of stuff for all kinds of different collectors. So, pretty cool. But let me know down below, what did you pick up from Target Con today that was available? Now, for my Toy Story fans, we do have a VHS cover for Toy Story here. And it is an Amazon exclusive. And it has Woody there holding uh, the binoculars. It's kind of interesting because, like, they put the covers there, but they never match it. They didn't do it for Beauty and the Beast. They didn't do it for this one. They didn't do it for Jurassic uh, Park for the like poster one and they have like a Star Wars com one coming out I think and they're probably not going to do it for that. It's so weird like it's a VHS cover but you're not matching it properly. We should see Woody and Buzz in there. Not Woody holding binoculars. Anyways, this one should be available on Amazon fairly soon if you do want to pick it up. And uh, it's still really cool and really scenic, and I really like what they're going for. I just wish they would match the actual backgrounds. For my fans of Illumi Zoldic here and waiting on this exclusive, here's an actual update from Toy Stop here. Um, so, it does look like Illumi was delayed until mid-March. They said it should be shipping out that week that they got confirmation from Funko. 
I don't know if that's actually going to happen given it's been delayed like two or three times now. So we'll see what happens in about three weeks, I want to say. Mid-March is roughly three to almost four weeks away. Well, actually, no, it's like three weeks away. So we'll see what happens, guys, but he is delayed right now. He's so cool, though. Like, literally from what I've been watching Hunter x Hunter the last week, there's a really cool chase opportunity for him. Um, I won't say what it is, but you guys know f for those who watch Hunter x Hunter. It's a really cool chase opportunity for him, for sure. And uh, he's a pretty cool exclusive, so I can't wait to actually get him in hand. I feel like I pre-ordered this one forever. I think this, I think pre-orders went up in December, then they sold out. This one will restock, by the way, guys. Here we do have a shipping update on Overhaul from Child's Collectibles here. It does say pre-orders of Overhaul will start shipping on Monday 228. So literally three days from now, they will start shipping them out. They're going to get them all ready over the weekend and then drop them off Monday, so that's awesome. We received a portion of our order and expect the remainder by the end of the week. All orders will be on their way by 3.15 at the latest. So, it does look like they gave themselves a two-week deadline to actually ship everything out. Um, assuming no truck delays as well. Once everything is shipped and we do a full inventory, we will most likely make some available on our website. So we should see a mini restock of, of overall here, and then probably a restock a little bit later on as well. But either way, we're going to see a little mini restock of overall. He's going to start shipping out on the 28th, so make sure to check your emails for those tracking numbers. Now, I did actually want to share this image from Pop Gmez. I think that's how, I, how you say your Instagram name. Anyways, he did actually share a pic of his Deku here, and the glow on this is actually kind of crazy. Like, look at the blue glowing the hair, the highlights in the hair, the green all over, the electricity on the eyes and all around his feet. Missed opportunity to make Aerie glow maybe just a little bit because like you can't even see her. She's like completely dark. They just forgot about her unfortunately but the glow is amazing on this and I think Funko did a great job on that and uh, looks it looks really good. I just I love that it's so vibrant. I think this is awesome. Thank you uh, GMS for sharing. That's really awesome. All right guys the big one we do have Kakashi and this situation is very interesting and very funny. Now we did have rumors of a Kakashi lightning blade um, exclusive like a glow in the dark exclusive over at GameStop for a while now and then here is the actual glow in the dark pop here. Uh, so this one did pop up over in Mexico guys and uh, it says Kakashi and it says Rikiri. I think that's how you say that. Sorry if I butchered that pronunciation. Anyways, this one is supposed to be a GameStop exclusive because typically when you have an exclusive that's exclusive to somebody, it's usually a reprint of their exclusives. No, for example, let's say Hot Topic wanted their exclusive to reprint it. You can't do that because it's exclusive to GameStop. So we have a good indication that this should be in a tea bundle given in the past they have actually taken other pops and made them glow in the dark or made them like super saiyan Go goku for example they made they took the same pop made it glow in the dark and threw it in a tea bundle probably going to be the same exact situation with this one but it won't be coming in a ramen bowl most likely just a tea bundle i'm hoping the t-shirt is going to look really nice though but Yes, guys, only the eye, the shutting that eye, as well as the lightning blade in his hand, or the lightning in his hand, excuse me, um, does actually glow in the dark, if you're wondering. Here is actually a glow pick there, which is really cool, and uh, look at that, that's awesome. So yeah, guys, a glow Kakashi is coming soon. Should be in a team bundle, as well as be GameStop, because that's just kind of what's happened in the past, so we're kind of guesstimating from there. If it's not, I will be really surprised, but it should be, honestly, so I guess we'll see what happens in the coming weeks. Um, and then lastly, I did actually want to give you guys a comparison on the boxes because they did actually change a couple things. Um, so the original Kakashi that we had had the 2D art. This new one does have that 3D art as well as the new one does have the number 1103 not 822 and then also they did change the name of the lightning blade there to the I guess the Japanese name I'm assuming that's what that is or the manga name which is kind of cool. So it's interesting that they're going with different names on the actual boxes instead of the English name. So let me know your thoughts on that overall and what do you guys think of this brand new Glow Kakashi? Are you guys going to pick this one up? Now the only thing I will say about this situation is that it does kind of come as a bummer because it was a little bit of an unnecessary exclusive to be made because he didn't really need a Glow one. He originally should be, should have been a Glow to be honest. It should have just been a Glow in the Dark pop out of the gate and we didn't really need a second variant and then especially in a T-Bundle where we have to pay more. Now here's the kicker. The original Kakashi is roughly about an $80 pop right now, sometimes in some cases $90. It also does have sealed bundles out there, the sealed ramen boxes and things like that. So let's just say it's roughly an $80 pop right now. Someone might have just bought it the other day for $80 and this one comes out for a $32 tea bundle. I'd be a little upset, I'm not going to lie. I would be a little upset because the cooler variant is actually now going to be coming soon and I just spent $80 on this one and you know, you kind of get screwed like that. So this typically does happen a lot. But overall guys, let me know your thoughts on this situation. Are you guys gonna pick up this Kakashi Glow in the Dark Pop or are you going to pass on it?
let me know your thoughts. All right, guys, that is all the news updates that I have for you today. If you guys did enjoy this video, smash that like button down below. I'd really appreciate it. It helps me out. And I, again, I would really appreciate it if you did do that. Also, subscribe and click that notification bell if you're new. We're almost to 50,000 subscribers, just about halfway to the YouTube play button. I'm so excited. Oh, God, it's going to take so long to get the other 50,000. So we're just going to celebrate 50K for now. But we're close. So subscribe, be a part of the journey. I'd love to have you here. And uh, let me know down below what's your favorite part of the video here. Are you guys looking forward to any of the pops that we did share? Definitely looking forward to seeing the tea bundle for the actual Kakashi there. Kind of curious about that. Illumi Zoldic would love to have that in my collection. As well as curious to see when Jiraiya on Toad does actually start restocking. Tenet's Lucario looks nice. And the bell I'm trying to get for Bailey. So there's a lot of stuff going on here. This was a fun video to do. So hopefully you did enjoy. Now I also would like to say a big shout out to all the Patreon supporters of the channel. You guys are rock stars and I really do appreciate and love you guys for all of the support you've thrown my way. Thank you guys so much. If you guys want to check out the Patreon, link is down below. We do have a Patreon only Discord where a a lot of news and information is shared sometimes that I don't share in videos so check that out down below if you guys want some I guess exclusive access we also do have a Facebook group with almost 12,000 members it's a buy sell and trade group and you can make a ton of friends and meet great people in there as well as follow all my social media it's Instagram Twitter and TikTok all at Skittle Rampage all right love you guys see you guys in the next one see you guys later bye